welcome to the 14th episode of uh, Sunday Sambad um, presented by Might Tis and uh, today we are glad to welcome Mr Kumar Gaurav from Tata Steel Foundation uh, TISS alumni uh, before introducing Mr Kumar I would like to introduce you all to the uh, initiative that is Sunday Sambad so Sunday Sambad is a online platform for welcoming uh, and connecting with the TISS alumni uh, where we welcome the uh, alumni of TISS from diverse work areas uh, and there they share their journey uh, their professional journey so that the students of TISS can uh, learn and aspire for whatever careers they want to uh, so in and continuing our uh, weekend meets uh, i'm glad and honored to Uh, welcome mr kumar gaurav for the 14th episode that is uh, csr interventions with person with disabilities uh, and i would be happy to introduce mr kumar gaurav so uh, mr kumar gaurav is a upper he was born in jamshedpur but was not brought up there and uh, he studied in west singhum district of jharkhand uh, from there he, he was he moved to bihar and uh, after his 12th he had his uh, bachelor's in physiotherapy from the national institute of locomotor disability uh, kolkata so he aspired to prepare prepare for civil services but uh, to understand the social construct of disability uh, and and to passion to work for person with disabilities he and he entered a tia data institute of social sciences mumbai in the course called disability studies and action uh, currently he is working in jharkhand with tata steel foundation as a csr executive uh, his current assignment is uh, in working with persons with disability and mr kumar himself is a person with disability and have been involved in several uh, interventions and initiatives that uh, work for and with uh, pwds Uh, and not only in academic but as well as advocacy space as well as grassroots level work for pwds uh, so we are uh, honored to have you sir and to discuss about various approaches via csr uh, that can be done uh, by a, a student of tiss and uh, you being uh, an alumni know understand the knowledge and values that we learn at tiss so we would be discussing various uh, or, or, or let us say mr kumar would be talking about various areas uh, from his roles and functions at uh, tata steel foundation to uh, the challenges and he faced while working with pwds uh, also the skills that are required to work with pwds via csr or even in general Uh, then mr kumar would also talk about the knowledge that he gained and values that he imbibed at tiss how he has built a bridge and applied it, the, those knowledge and values at the grassroots and finally also uh, in in between also mr kumar would discuss what were the approaches and perspectives or the models that he followed or that he applied at the uh, grassroots uh, to work with pwds uh, so sir with your permission uh we can begin and again i would be i, I would say that uh, we are greatly honored to have you sir thank you sir thank you thank you very much darish thank you uh very good afternoon everyone who is present here i guess i'm audible yeah sir so, you a bit uh, audible but bit slowly sir if you can acha okay i think that's my my speaker is better not, now sir uh, is that okay is that is is that better okay yeah great yeah good so thank you very much again tadish and uh, thank you everyone thank you my it's it's a it's a it's fantastic initiative i i never thought of that this initiative will come like this because at our time we don't have you know we have only present alumni you can talk about us and then we can uh, you know we uh, we present to them and then we it's a very sir, sorry sorry to interrupt sir yeah yeah but, uh, the mic uh, is like yeah can volume. can you Okay. Or Just I don't know. Can other participants hear? I I don't know if it's my problem or no. Hello, Amar? can you hear me? No, no, it is audible for us. Okay, sorry. Sir. Yes. Yes. 
ओके या या थैंक्स ओके कैन आई देन ओके या सो यस सो so yeah it's a fantastic initiative thank you so much for inviting me and uh, uh, happy dasera to everyone as well so it's a dasera day and uh, yeah so so it's um, it's it's i i feel so pleasant to you know to connect back again at this and to the students as well because i i always see image of uh, you know when a student is like uh, from this if you you know you know you know if you are going to talk, if you are talking to someone who is like from this then it's always it's euphoric it's uh, it's nostalgic as well that you are really connecting with your roots so yeah uh so let me begin with uh, uh what i'll say that my journey um, my journey when you know it's like uh, it's now five and a half years now so i pass out in 2015 so i'm from 2013 15 batch of Uh, center for disability studies and action so as a language i use both english and hindi uh, so that if it's uh, it's okay for everyone so jab main test se jab main jab main test mein aaya to you know there, there are like several things that i learned so it's not just a classroom programs or theoretical perspectives or what is in the academics but uh, the whole you know the whole ecosystem of this it, it provides you learning it provides you experience and uh, it gives you a chance of interaction platform where you can exchange ideas and as well so i feel jab aap test pe hote hain to aap kai logo se milte hain kai cheezon ko dekhte hain aur aur kuch cheezon ko seekhte hain samajhte hain sab hum sab placements ki chinta ko lekar ke kahin na kahin hame lagta hai ki hum placements jab aaye hain to test mein to acche placements ho jayenge aur ek acha Uh, कुछ अच्छा सीख करके जाएंगे इन सब थॉट uh, प्रोसेस के साथ इन सब एस्पिरेशन के साथ हम uh, आते हैं एंड देन वी स्टार्ट हमारी हमारा जर्नी जो है वो दो साल का स्टार्ट होता है सो या सो माइंड वॉज लाइक सो आई 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 जस्ट टेक अ लिटिल बैक एंड देन देन सी हाउ हाउ इट हैज बीन सो आई आई रिमेंबर दैट वेन वेन वी वी आर यू नो वेन वेन आई वॉज स्टडिंग एट at uh, nild it's uh, now it's called nild previously in um, previously it is called as nioh national institute of orthopedics and handicapped where there is like paramedical courses like physiotherapy and occupational therapy and processes and other courses so i remember that i i qualified that uh, examination and then then come to nioh so jab main wahan par padhai kar raha tha you know so it's a, so it was never in a mind that i'm going to do something in in the field of uh, in the field of social field you know, in, uh, in the development in the development arena but jab ha aap padhte hain to fir aapko lagta hai medical science par rahe hain aur cheeze aapko badi medical medical approach jo hai aapka wo kafi medical approach se chalta hai kafi organic aur physiological cheeze aap dekhna shuru karte hain to mere sath bhi it was like almost similar to me as well kyunki kafi एन आई एच में मेडिकल एजुकेशन लोगों से मिलना जुलना वो इंट्रैक्शन बढ़ता है एंड देन यू नो वेन एज अ पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटी माई सेल्फ सो वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एपिसोड विद दैट इच आई वॉज लाइक हाउ टू टेल स्टोरीज यू नो हाउ टू हाउ टू गिव प्रस्पेक्टिव एज वेल एट द सेम टाइम तो मुझे लगा कि एज अ पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटी फॉर पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटी एंड फॉर अ कोर्स विच इज रिलेटेड टू डिसबिलिटी एंड फॉर इंटरवेंशन विच इज रिलेटेड टू डिसबिलिटी तो ये डिजिबिलिटी के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से समझाना इंटरेस्टिंग भी रहेगा एंड द सेम टाइम कैरियर अप्रोच को भी लेके काफी चीजें इंटरेस्टिंग रही हाँ तो जब मैं नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट देखा तब वहाँ जब हम लोग काफी यू नो ऑर्गेनिक अप्रोच काफी मेडिकल अप्रोच के बारे में बात कर रहे थे ठीक करने के बारे में बात कर रहे थे यू नो टू क्योर टू ट्रीट तो हमारा उस तरह का थियोरिटिकल परस्पेक्टिव था एंड टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट आई आई नेवर थॉट ऑफ जॉइनिंग टेस्ट Uh, because that was like in the mode of doing something for uh, you know having clinic or working in some government hospital at most i'll prepare for upsc and at the same time start preparing for upsc it's not it's not that preparing means going joining coaching it was like very informally at the same time when like when you for seniors was in test and we have some interaction and they said pr to disability studies ek acha course hai they also encourage me to apply for health sciences जो हमारे कॉलेज में है 
हेल्थ से रिलेटेड जितनी कोर्सेज बट हेल्थ से रिलेटेड कोर्सेज मुझे लगा कि यार फिर से मैं मेडिकल चीज़ों में मैं अब नहीं जानना चाहता हूँ क्योंकि मुझे एक चेंज चाहिए था अपने परस्पेक्टिव को लेकर चेंज चाहिए था और कहीं ना कहीं से वो अंदर से एक एंगल जरूर आता है सोशल एंगल जो था वो हमेशा से था कि हम लोग कुछ कुछ उस एंगल में बात करेंगे देन आई अप्लाइड फॉर टेस्ट एंड सम हाउ आई ओनली अप्लाइड फॉर वन कोर्स व्हिच इज डिसेबिलिटी स्टडीज बिकॉज दैट्स दैट्स यू नो दैट्स अपील मी एट दैट टाइम तो वो मैं वहां आया एंड देन द लर्निंग एट दैट स्टार्ट सो टेस्ट में यू नो इन 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 बिटवीन यू नो दो साल आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू टू लर्न इन दिस i i somehow i remember few of my you know my time friends that uh, saying ki are i didn't learn anything at this so I, that that's that's actually that for me that's very painful to, to listen because uh, it it you know it's a waste of an opportunity if you are this and if you are not learning so that's that's a waste of an opportunity and i remember the first day first day at uh, uh, first day at this and first day at uh, Uh, auditorium then we have this foundation day classes starting and we have speech from parsuraman sir and he said a very lovely thing you know in the first first speech and it's like 2 minutes of his uh, his, uh, his discussion you know and then he says ki we don't make people for business we make people for people that's exciting that's actually exciting and i still remember that time that we make people for people that's very important uh, so That's why I I feel कि अगर आप टेस्ट में हैं तो आपको आपका जो व्यू पॉइंट है वो कहीं ना कहीं क्योंकि किसी ना किसी रूप में we are going to be the change makers in some of the other times everybody everybody in the world is a change maker of course that's no doubt but at this you come with a special responsibility of being sensitive and being uh, you know uh, and being at the same time applying uh, your rational for everything you you become very rational so that's that's you know that's one part so that's very important thing that you learn in this so jab bhi aap is mein aate hain to in sab cheezon ko aap bahut achhe tarike se badi bariki se aap dekhte hain ki ye sari cheezon ko aap kaise seekhe aur in 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 cheezon ko jo aap seekhte hain unko aap kaise apply kare and uh, you know this just started 2 3 months of time at this and then uh, uh, then i remember that uh, you know parshuraman called me that Uh, what are your issues in the college you know regarding accessibility so that was like for the first time i never thought of anyone is going to ask me that do you have any issue even in, you know uh, you know you, you are not going to expect this from a dean of a college because we come from the mindset that dean is like you know, the principals and the directors who sits in their cabin and all that stuff but here the director is like you know he has this usual casual walk over dining hall and then he called me and then he says there is is there any access issues for you and i said yes because in most of the classes on the first floor and it's not accessible at that much so he, he says he says me that i don't know whom to hammer just you can find someone and you can start something and i i remember that that time we started i access uh, we were the founding team member at test which which come to th- rethink this i uh, access issue and then we form a group and then we start working and this is the first learning that i have you know this is the first learning that how to work you know and at that time we i remember that there were a lot of issues around our campus which was related to dog dog bites and to the to the blind person so that gives me another perspective of solving issues and uh, you know and then how this how this problem can be overcome at both state because they are the dog they are like you know people uh, dog lovers as well i i also love dogs and and there are people who are complaining of a dog bite so you know this conflict resolution piece that you also learn in this so you know learning started so it's you know there are so this this i will say this is not so much of academic learning but i will say that's that's the ek bahar ki duniya hoti hai jo aapko sikhati hai aur aap seekhte hain un cheezon se so what makes the difference see this solution the solution can be can be for uh, well, you know for you can find it in the book and you can discuss with people and then you can try to apply it but at the same time the solutions are uh, the solution should be that that actually this teaches you the solution should have an angle of uh, 
should have an empathetic angle, should have, should have a sensitized angle. Uh, that gives you perspective. So, yeah. Yes. So, you know, that's, that's what I learned. And uh, uh, like learning different lot of, lot of things. Uh, I remember that at the same time that I'm doing, I came to know about theaters. Uh, I remember my uh, roommate, Astam. So he's like a good theater artist, and then we form a good theater group there. I, I still remember that people come and we join, and then we start doing a lot of theater. That, that theater, you know, that gives me goal. Uh, 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 that's also that's also teaches you things. So uh, that's also uh, uh, it gives you skill, and it gives you you know to express yourself, to personality. That that teaches us. Uh, that teaches me a lot of things because I didn't I didn't have a public speaking ability, and that that came after. Uh, having uh, you know this theater exercises and that 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 actually gives me a lot of strength of uh, what I am today. So yeah, yeah. So these are these are few learnings at this, and then this placement comes, and I I remember because I I'll tell this story in perspective for disability. So I remember that many organization at that time that they came and they I usually qualify till till the final round, and then they ask me questions like how you are going to travel, how you are going to walk and all that question, which is primarily related to discipline, I remember. But one such organization also come Tata Steel at that time and then I came to join Tata Steel. Uh, yeah, so I don't know at that time that I, I, you know, at the placement time, I decided that I'm going to work on disability. That I'm going to work on the disability. That's why my that's like my aim. That's my like aspiration, and that's that's Junoon. That's the Junoon that I'm because I have felt this trauma of not being selected because of a disability in initial placement time. I remember that every organization will tell me how you are going to walk, how you are going to travel. That's that that question which for a person with disability is like asking you, uh, you know, that question that defines your ability and disability. That defines your physical disability. So so that happened. I still remember, but yeah. So somehow I managed to come. But I mean, in the final round of round of interview, I said to the organization that I'm going to do something for the disability. If you are going to do something for the disability, then hire me. Otherwise, I'll out. I'll I'll, I'll try for others. I remember they selected me. So when I came at Tata Steel Foundation, it was like initially uh, we were ten of ten from the same batch, and we started, you know. Um, working on the diff uh, different development perspective. We have this uh, different, uh, in the progression period, we have this different exposure of various initiative of Tata Steel Foundation, like livelihood, skill development, and uh, then ethnicity. That is ethnicity is something which is, uh, which is a unique uh, uh, initiatives of Tata Steel Foundation. And then we, you know, there are like different initiatives that uh, which, which, you know, which start from across. Our first, and then we are when we join this organization. Yeah, so when we join this organization, so first thing, you know, they are like different thing. When you come from this, you have a very different idea of how the world is. And when you when you join uh, some organization, particularly a organization which has this corporate um, uh, corporate background, which CSR is a is a corporate social responsibility altogether. So starting, it's it's it's. It's difficult because you you have your you know inner conflicts, uh, clash of ideas and uh, clash of ideologies, and at the same time um, you are fighting with your own self. And why you join, then you start questioning your own self. And it's like dilemmas, you know. When you join this organization, any organization which is uh, not of your ideology, not of your what you have thought of, and all that stuff, this inner uh, conflict will go on. But I'll tell you. Uh, this is like a mool mantra, जो मैं आप लोग सबके साथ शेयर करना चाहूँगा कि जब आपके साथ ऐसा होता है, जब अंतर दोन्द होता है, जब अंदर अंदर से लड़ाइयाँ होती हैं कि ये कैसे हो रहा है, ये आपके आइडियोलॉजी के साथ और आपकी सिद्धांतों के साथ और आपके आपके व्यक्तित्व के साथ ये मेल नहीं खा रहा और आपको ऐसा लग रहा ऐसे में आपकी पर्सनालिटी अंदर से काफी अच्छी निकल करके आती है जो निकल करके आता है वो होता है इट्स योर ट्रू सेल्फ बिकॉज़ यू हैव यू नो यू विन द बैटल टू टू कम आउट फ्रॉम इट 
and that's battle actually it's very very important for every one of us when we go out of test because test has this very controlled environment i'll say a controlled in the sense it's, it's a good environment it's very idealistic uh, environment it's a utopian environment but when you come out it's not that it's not that uh, uh, it's not that rosy rosy the all together but it's, it's it's a difficult you know it's it, there are there are different different things that which is very difficult to understand just uh, yeah sorry so so when you uh, you know that that is actually very uh, very 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 difficult to uh, work with so one skill that that's going to help you there because whenever you are going to join any organization initial days are going to be very very difficult it's not because of uh, because of you know the work structure or organization people it's because of you it's because it's within because we have been socialized for two years in a very uh, different situation but when you go out uh, it's very different situation so that's internal conflict always go on so that's uh, so one thing that you have to be very uh, is to not give up you know initial initial days are very very difficult but don't give up because at that time you learn i i remember so i'm i've been very lucky i've been very very lucky uh, in sense because uh, when i joined this i listened to dr s parsuraman and his first saying that we make people for people and when i joined uh, tata steel foundation i remember that on the first or second day first day i guess uh, we come to meet uh, tata steel md Mr. Narendra Ji, and he he said a very powerful thing that when you are going to leave job, leave at that point when you are very very happy. So that that's you know that's that's something which gives you perspective. जब आप बहुत बहुत खुश हों तभी आप अच्छा decision ले पाते हैं. So that's very very important. So if you want to take a good decision, then the you should be very happy because at that time you take good decisions. At that time you take a very right decision. So उस समय भी मेरे साथ भी ऐसा हुआ कई समय तक मुझे ऐसा लग रहा था आई नॉट देयर फॉर मेनी डेज एंड आई विल नॉट वर्क बिकॉज आई बीन बिकॉज यू नो व्हाई बिकॉज आई बीन नॉट दैट मोटिवेटेड बिकॉज एट दैट यू नो आई वाज वेरी मोटिवेटेड व्हेन आई अप्लाइड फॉर दिस प्लेसमेंट थिंग बिकॉज आई वांट टू वर्क फॉर डिजर्विटी बट दैट मोटिवेशन आफ्टर जॉइनिंग दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर समवेयर लॉस्ट फॉर 6 टू 8 मंथ्स बिकॉज आई हैव बीन सीइंग डिफरेंट थिंग्स एंड दैट थॉट प्रोसेस बिकम वेरी वेरी powerful that's that's become my dominant story uh, uh, which is you know which is masking what i want to do hmm? so so i remember that after 6 8 months we got one project we we got one project where we have where we have to spend two months uh, in in the rural areas and see how the community is and all that stuff that went very well that's like uh, you stayed you know we also have in test we also have this rural practicums and other stuff but this was quite tough this was quite quite tough from what we experience at test because i'll say that because they have say uh, they have sent us with you know with no uh, uh, with no support they said that you are not from patasel foundation or you are not from this you are just kumar gaurav you are just a person individual and then you are going to survive uh, with your own reach i remember that we did lot of household works <laughs> Uh, to survive in the rural area with the family that we are living and then we uh, then we plan for them then we you know teach in the schools to survive and that's that's how you learn for this 2 3 months that gives that gives me a you know a perspective and that gives that is also an eye opener for me for me you know that uh, it's not that control involvement it's, it's not that is and then the learning starts at that the school foundation as well after the finish of you know this rural practicum because and that rural practicum i i can still remember that uh, that rural practicum if you study that test and if you don't understand the rural reality it's your loss because this teaches you this to various various exposure that they give to various various discussion that happen uh, at this in dining hall at canteen within you know within hostels and everywhere everywhere you know this discussions and this zeal and this exposure of rural uh, uh, reality is very very important because uh, i still remember that initial 14 15 days in a very very remote village of uh, of a district called saikela here in jharkhand it's very very remote district 
no, you will not going to find any vehicle to come out and all that stuff. So yeah, I, I, I knew 10, 15 days were very, very crucial. And then I realized uh, if anyone who has not been in this is not going to stay there for seven days, even five days, very, very difficult. But at least we learn this. And we, uh, we do not just survive. I will say that we, after 10, 15 days, we become one of them. You know, one of them means we become what we are in you know, a rural community. Uh, we start living with them, you know, and then we come to know that it's it's us. You know, uh, who, then we have to really think about the whose side you are. But, you know, just all these things. And that gives you uh, perspective and peace at the same time when, when, when you learn things from rural understanding. So post finishing that we came here and then again, we got a project of a two months where you have to think something and you have to start something. So that, that gives me strength. So after, you know, after I have this internal conflict and struggle, what I'm doing and what is right and what is not, then I come to know that we are going, I have this opportunity to design something in this two months time. So I get full, full devotion. I just gathered all my experience and learning from this for the two years. Like, you know, we, I don't know that study, whether we have in disability studies this course or not, but at that time we have this organization development and and I remember all my internship experiences, all in organization work. I, I, you know, I remember all my uh, different discussions at classrooms at uh, at TISS at Center for Disability Study Studies, and then I remember a lot of discussions with with. I remember Center for Livelihood and Social Innovation as teacher Santa said, Santa said discussion. I remember many said discussion and a lot of discussions. So it's like I. Re Remember all those, and then I start thinking about it. How what I'm going to do for these two months? I have to de de design a program. So we all ten get responsibility of designing one program for for something that we feel that we should start doing. That uh, and you know that's very very difficult, very very difficult in the sense that if you're going to design a program, uh, if this program is designed only on word file or excel sheet that's not going to work that should be reality because and you know for anything come to reality you need fund you need money you need approvals you need to convince people so that's very important so uh, before starting a project i start reading all the theoretical perspective and what we are going to do i started with a two pager thing which was easily you know uh, in the 10 days time i developed something on disability which is related to livelihood and that fall on the face in the next you know, 10, 15 days because they didn't like the idea. And uh, because I also didn't like the idea, but as a sake of doing this, I was doing this, but you know, I then start realizing that what is what is going to be good. Uh, I remember that I call uh, a professor at this and then we start discussing on how we are going to do, what we are going to do. Uh, we, I also did some mapping of, you know, uh, mapping of things. What are the basics? So, you know, this, uh, this research, you know, this research, how this research is going to help. Uh, uh, it's it's very important to listen because, you know, uh, I was doing this project, you know, finding something in a Google and letting people know that they have a project, they have a lot of good, a replication of a model, but people are not liking it because that's not an honest work, you know. So I take uh, uh, take the tool of research. So what I did, I started some secondary research on what are the major gap that I'm finding. I started going through the data of 2011 census for person with disability and especially related to Jharkhand and, and especially related to uh, our district, East Singhum, but it's not that much of uh, detailed data was available. Then I start finding out what are the gaps from the data. Then I realized that, that this data doesn't give me a clear picture because what we are going to start not for the Jharkhand, but for a smaller area to start with, to pilot with, you know. So I start going through the data of 2001 and 2011 census, all related to disability and uh, disability related things like education, livelihood, and, uh, you know, demographic, basic demographic and all that stuff. So we, uh, you know, uh, when, uh, when I was doing that, that I find a gap that, oh, this is the gap. I'll tell you about the gap in the next part. So it's like, I, I, I said that this, this is the gap. Then uh, for for proving that gap, I need to do something something on the ground, some basic samplings. 
then I somehow managed to say to the people that I'm going to do a survey. Hmm. So I'll find out uh, how many person with disability are living in our locations. So I remember that's very, very difficult because there's nothing, nothing, nothing uh, on, on disability at that time because everybody was busy with some livelihoods and agric agriculture thing, uh, you know, health thing, that different things had happened. Nobody was like, but I come to know there's something, some one initiative which is called RISTA. RISTA means uh, Reproductive and Sexual Health Orientation while it uh, youth ke ek project. Tha. So I, you know, started talking to them and making some, you know, uh, that's that's what we, that's what we learned from this is building rapport, you know, internal building rapport. So I start building some internal rapport with the team and then, uh, uh, then I come to, uh, no, then they're like six, seven people who are very motivated. I tell them about disability. I, you know, I emotionally play with them on all, the, all that stuff that what is going to happen, what, why disability is an important thing and other things. So somehow I managed to, you know, convince two, three people and then we start some basic survey. Uh, the first initial survey, so I did some designing part of, you know, what we should ask in the survey, what data I, I required. So this is the research that, secondary research of data that gives me the gap. Based on that gap, I started doing research in the ground level, like what is happening. But I, I may not be able to do the whole research single in, as an individual because uh, it's an extreme rural location and the isolation that uh, that happens in the tribal villages because uh, you know it's it's like one hamlet of a village is above the uh, above the mountain and in between the forest and one village is like far away from the other villages so it's very difficult physically difficult terrains so yeah somehow I managed to do survey and then I start finding out and then find some very very valid some very very valid thing that is. Uh, you know that's that's valid at, at the same time asking question to the organization that they have been there you know the presence of the company is like more than 150 years here so uh, what is happening and all that stuff so i remember that with that data uh, with that uh, research i presented again in one of the meeting uh, you know that that happens after two months when we are closing the uh, closing our presentations at the day of presentation i remember my chief uh, at that time was saying this is the best idea i've heard today and that's how the project got selected and it's not yet only selected but uh, this also becomes you know when you have very sensitized very uh, motivated uh, seniors you know when your colleagues are very motivated, that's happened. That's my immediate boss, Captain Amita. He's like, you know, he was very motivated. He always wanted to work for something on the disability. And we actually, Logan, um, you know, we, we compete each other in terms of working for person with disability. Then then we started this project called Sabal Center for Abilities, you know, uh, that's, that's, uh, that started in the vicinity of uh, Noa Mundi, which is in West Singhum. It's nearby one of the Asia's densest forest called uh, Saranda. It's, it's nearby the structure. So, you know, uh, that project we started and initially we, we, but we thought of that some, you know, some, some good partners we need. So this partnership and collaboration part will come. So I always, uh, you know, we have thought of, uh, you know, we, we, we have from our experience internship experience we come across very different different organization at this uh, yeah so uh, uh, this 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 helps uh, this helps actually so uh, uh, yeah so when we started this project we need some partner to run and uh, this partnership and collaboration part is very very important uh, uh, thing then which when you are going you know to start a project because you have to very very uh, cautious because not not everything that you are going to do you may be a general expert you may not be specialized to for a certain thing that you are doing so partnership and collaboration is uh, uh, it's very it's very tricky thing and at the same time it's 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 required so for the next one and a half months i will again finding partner a good partner which can implement them implement this project with us and then we start finding and come up to come across a partner which is enable india which is one of the best leading organization uh, in india on disability, on disability so we find them and together we you know we we started this project so the see they're like 
various channel challenges which which you know which which you came across when you are doing such such project uh, the challenges which uh, i'll say that these challenges first challenges what i said it's in inner perspective like your fight within and the other challenges is your philosophical your ideological conferences with uh, with the organization which you are working and the other challenges so i am just listing uh, some challenges that i faced and so you know disability is such a subject where people don't want to you know uh, generally generally people have this hierarchy of uh, hierarchy of i say that this uh, social problems where disability lies slightly below the major uh, in, uh, issues around the world but it's something which is less explored still then like various various things are happening but uh, uh, you know there are still lot of initiative lot of uh, uh, lot of space of uh, spaces of innovation there is lot of space for uh, doing things like advocacy and uh, like many many things that you can do so one of the challenges to convince is to convince that disability or my project is important or disability is important uh, initially people don't listen people because because they don't you know they uh, they feel that it's not important par kafi samay lagta hai aapko ye baat batane mein ki ye cheeze important hai aur ye andar se jhunjlahat bhi paida karti hai jhunjlahat kehne ka arth hai it's 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 actually irritates you sometimes but uh, mujhe lagta hai ki ye irritation bhi bahut zaruri hai kyunki is irritation ka aapko is irritation ko channelize karna bahut important hai ये इरिटेशन एक ऐसी एनर्जी है जिसको अगर आपने अपने नॉलेज में अपने अंदर इसको नहीं बदला तो मेरे हिसाब से तब मुश्किलें तब बढ़ती हैं तो दैट्स वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट कि आप अपने इस तरह के चैलेंजेस को आप अपने अंदर जो भी चैलेंजेस आते हैं उसका सही तरीके से निकालने के लिए इस चैलेंजेस को एक्चुअली फेस करने के लिए चैलेंजेस को ओवरकम करने के लिए देर आर सर्टेन स्किल्स व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड बाय दी सी वन वन इट्स इट्स नॉट एज एज इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्किल्स बट व्हिच इज वेरी 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 रिक्वायर्ड इज पैशन इफ डिसेबिलिटी इज डिसेबिलिटी समथिंग वेयर यू नो यू यू नो वेयर यू वांट टू वर्क आप अगर उसमें कुछ अच्छा करना चाहते हैं आने वाले समय में भी और अगर आप कुछ में कैरियर बनाना ही है केवल तो शायद ये काम ना करे पर अगर आपका पैशन है इसमें तो मुझे लगता है पैशन बहुत ही बहुत ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है अगर हम डिजेबिलिटी स्टडीज को कोर्स की तरह देखने लगेंगे तो उसमें से जो लास्ट में हम कहते हैं डिजेबिलिटी स्टडीज एंड एक्शन तो ये जो एक्शन पार्ट है अगर ये एक्शन पार्ट नहीं होगा तो केवल डिजेबिलिटी स्टडीज रह जाएगी और पढ़ कर अगर उसको हम इम्प्लीमेंट नहीं कर पाए जो हमारा लर्निंग है जो हमारा अंडरस्टैंडिंग है अगर वो सही तरीके से इम्प्लीमेंट नहीं हो पाएगा तो फिर हमारा पढ़ाई क्यों मतलब तो कई सारे चीज जो है वो इम्पोर्टेंट है और इस आपको एक बहुत बड़ा सी डिजेबिलिटी स्टडीज एंड एक्शन इट्स आई डोंट आई डोंट नो एनी गुड कोर्स ऑन डिजेबिलिटी इन इंडिया अदर देन डिजेबिलिटी स्टडीज एंड एक्शन गुड कोर्स इट आई एल नॉट से अभी आपको लग रहा होगा कि कई चीजें आपको परस्पेक्टिव देने का है दो साल में आप डिजेबिलिटी उतने अच्छे से नहीं सीख सकते बट गिव यू टूल मुझे कई बार कई बार मैं जब मैं डिजेबिलिटी दो साल पढ़ के जब यहाँ आया और जब लोग मुझे बोलते थे कि अरे आप आपको साइन लैंग्वेज नहीं आ रहा है उतने अच्छे से या आप डिजेबिलिटी ये नहीं जानते तो फिर डिजेबिलिटी स्टडीज में आपको क्या सिखाया जाता है दो सालों तक मैं तो मैं उनको बोलता था कि विच इज ऑल्सो राइट कि इट्स कि आपको डिजेबिलिटी स्टडीज में या सोशल वर्क में आपको फिर ये नहीं सिखाया जाता है कि आप पूरी तरह से एक्सपर्ट हो जाएंगे पर ऐसा टूल्स तो आपको जरूर दे दिया जाता है जिस टूल को लेकर के आप आने वाले समय में आने वाले समय में आप उस टूल का उपयोग करके आप उसको यूज करके देन उसको अगर आप यूज करेंगे तो आप और भी बहुत सारी चीजें एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हैं 
you know that that tool is very important and that is the skill which which is required jab uh, disability studies padhte hain aapko aapka door open ho jata hai disability ka aapko pata chalne lagta hai ki andar ghar mein hai kya upar se lekin yahi tak is course ka kaam hota hai uske baad it's like a door then you have to enter in a room and then you have to feel and find everything out of it then it's a dark room and then you have to switch on the light and and then you have to find things like which is which is there and then you have to explore innovate so that happens when you join uh, you know any organization and when you start a project i'm i'm i I'll say that i'm very lucky to start a project on disability because maximum time if, if people work on a disability then some some regular project which is happening and then you just have to uh, you know uh, to do recurring activities which is already being happening but that is also very important because you learn so i'll see to the student i'll, I'll say to i'll say to those who are still in the course and planning to have career on disabilities to uh, you have to be very rational so i'm i'm just listing on four or five things which is which is very very important as a disability professional first you are you have to listen very very carefully you have to listen to everything second is your observation skill should be very very powerful observation skill is very very important when you are working for person with disability you know uh, an open mind will help you to observe many many things and this observation uh, is going to solve lot of a lot of issues which are already there and which can be solved very very easily because you are you are observing and third is analytical most of the cases happen in most of the cases happen that when we talk about disability it, it, it becomes very emotional issue but i find disability is a very analytical issue uh, you know if, if you are going to present data if you are going to do studies if you are going to do research this will be give you lot of lot of great great findings this will give you will be give you you know uh, a world view you know, there are like several several things i know many of you have been visiting to uh, the library at uh, at the iss you will find disability studies uh, literature but you will never find you are not going to find much literature on by any indian writers because we we you know uh, we lack that because people don't consider disability as an analytical analytical uh, subject as well because disability is so much of an analytical subject uh, if you are analytical if you if you you know want to play with the data and if you want to uh, uh, apply the- theoretical perspective in other thing disability is one subject which gives you scope and uh, fourth fourth is fourth is uh, uh, fourth is sensitization empathic empathetic listening see sensitization is very very important as a person i i remember at my at my time i have three four three or four person with disability who are who are in our course rest are non disabled person person without disability uh, i remember that not many joined anything related to disability they joined different field that's okay that's that's not bad at all but at the same time those you know this two year of studying in disability have sensitized them and they become a voice for person with disability so you are not only uh, you are not only a student you are going to be voice of person with disability in the near coming future so you have to be in that orientation you have to be in that attitude you have to be in that in in, in that in that shoot uh, you know yeah. because people people are looking for what we you know many person with disability across india across world are looking forward for you that you are going to you know be a voice of us and you know we'll come together for uh, for our voices for our work which is which is unexplored which is unattended so yeah, that's that's something which you uh, yeah, that's that's give that is something which is you know very uh, very, very powerful when you are when you are going to work uh, so yeah that's that's all from uh, my part uh, but if you have some questions i think uh, or if you want to uh, ask some question i can i can definitely can definitely answer and if and other if i if you feel that i i can miss something then uh, i can add yeah thank you
Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yeah. Any 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 question that you want to ask, or if I if you feel that I missed some part of it, yeah, you can say me. I'll add. No, no. I think uh, uh, I we have covered all the aspects which we discussed. If participants have any questions, they can unmute themselves or even write on the chat box and. So I think, sir, uh, participants do not have any questions, and uh, we can conclude the session. If you have something to say, sir, you can. Yeah, thanks. No, no, nothing. I, uh, I just want, I will just want to say one thing that sir, uh, is that um, you, you, you know, we, um, uh, you know, when you start an initiative. Uh, uh, Three things that you should uh, take care of. First is that uh, uh, it, this initiative is for people. Uh, this initiative for you know it's not. I'm not talking about in, uh, uh, for person with disability. I'll say that it's an initiative of uh, for persons for for, uh, for people. First is that is for people, and second is that uh, uh, it should be it should be for people. It should be owned by the people. Second is that that. It should be owned by the people. It's 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 not your child, you know. Uh, you have to really detach, and at the same time, you wish that it could be owned by the people. So, these these two things are very very important when you start a project uh, in in your organization, in your coming organization, when you join organization. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. absolutely people centric and uh, participative is always the priority um, so uh, we can conclude the session sir and uh, i am very on we uh, are very honored and glad that you took your time in the sunday evening and discussed your professional journey with us there are i i, I hope and i am sure that there are various uh, inputs that uh, students learned especially the students from dsa and uh, again i would like to thank you for your time and even the participants for their patience and uh, listening to sir